Hello, welcome to the 131 Faulkner tutorial. Hi. Okay, so first we're going to be talking about boat controls. Okay, so uh, obviously the most important control of the boat is the steering wheel. Uh, it's not as like simple as, as other steering wheels because it, it sticks, it's like sticky controlled. Um, but uh, the important thing to know about it is that, so this is also, it also can be used like a trim system, which is nice. Um, and also, uh, if you hear this click sound, like that, it means it centered itself, so you can know it's centered. And also, um, oftentimes it's when you're doing a turn, it's best to turn it only like halfway around or something, unless you're really maneuvering, because if you do a full turn, it can be unstable. So don't use that all the time, but yeah. Um, and then you have, for your sail controls, the main ones are, uh, well, first of all, your halyards, um, which are these. These are the halyards, and they're used for, think of them as like a, a throttle for the sail. Um, so the main sail is the big one in the back, and then the jib is the one in the front. It's a little bit shorter. Um, so, yeah, this is basically just like sail throttle, if you will. Um, and then if we go back here, this is uh, the sheet for the, or the main sheet block for the main sail. So if we crank this, it pulls the sail in. And if we hit ease here, it lets it go out. And that's how you control the angle of your sail. Um, now, oops. The jib sheets are a tad bit more complicated where there's two of them. There's one on either, si either side. Um, you always want to use the one that is on the same side as the jib. So I won't use this one to control the jib because the jib's on this side and so I'll use this one over here. And that's how it, that's how it always works. So that's a good rule of thumb. Um, yeah. The wind is so blowing are... the jib this way to be clear. Yes. Yeah. That's how the angle of the sail works is that the wind blows the sail in a direction and then the the sheets pull against it so yeah um so that is sail or boat controls so for and then for sail angling which is how you go fast or how you move it all really uh what you want to do is you want to have your sails at if you're going upwind uh you want your sails to be at 45 degrees to the wind so if i choose say uh, this heading right here that I want to be on. Um, notice the sails fla flapping back and forth. That's because it's not catching any wind and it's flapping like a flag right now. So what I have to do is I have to pull it in so that it is about 45 degrees to uh, like off of the wind. Um, and I'm going to go and do that with the jib as well, which the jib is actually already kind of there. Um, and then you can see we're picking up speed now. Um, so that's the main thing for sail angle, and then for down. Oh, and then for downwind, you want your sails to be like 90 degrees to the wind. Um, so if I go ahead and let this out. So now that I'm going downwind, uh, this is where I want my sails to be. Um, I want them to be out like this. Um, so that's that's all that's all good and, and whatever. But uh, next main part that's important is. Um, is well, I guess this is actually the same category, but it's it's irons. And what irons is is irons is when you're going right into the wind, and you have no power. So if I turn the boat into the wind, and it does that thing where you see the sail start to flap again, when the sail's flapping, it's not providing any power. And so if I were to go straight into the wind, then I wouldn't have any power, and we don't want that. So we have to be careful about that. It's bad. Um, yes, uh, and that's mainly important when we're doing tacking, and tacking is how you go upwind, um, because we can't go straight upwind, so say we're trying to go to that island there, off our off our front left side, uh, we would have, we can't go straight upwind to get there, so we have to tack back and forth, um, which is when you cross between, or you cross through where the wind is coming from, onto the other side, and then you do sort of a zigzag pattern. So if I were to tack over, how that would look is basically, um, I'm basically I'm heading close to uh, the direction of the wind, and then I'm going to turn the wheel over. So I cross through there, and you'll see the sail start to flap as it goes through irons. Um, and then it comes out on the other side, and the sail catches wind, and I can even out the boat now. Um, and, and then the important part is you have to yeah you have to switch the jib the over. Time in which you need to trim the jib, so the jib will now move to the other side so it can catch the wind and provide power. 
Yeah, you always want the jib on the uh, downwind side of the boat. Um, yeah. Um, so, and that's so that's basically, that's tacking, which is important for what I was saying earlier. Um, Brock, do you have anything else about tacking? Is that good? Uh, I'm horrible at it, and I suck, and I keep getting stuck in it. Alright, well, uh, try not to do that, I guess. I don't know. Thank uh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and then we have jiving, which is easier. So for jiving, what we do, it's the same thing, but it's crossing. But it's when the sail crosses the boat when you're going from one side of downwind to the other side. So you'll see it'll be more clear in a sec here. Um, so if I let out all the sails because we're going downwind, we want to catch as much wind as possible. There we go. Now what we can do is, um, if we want to head over to the left, what we can do is we can then turn over there, and eventually the sails will come over. But um, oftentimes you'll notice that even though it would be better if the main sail was on the right side of the boat, um, it's not, because the wind isn't pushing it that way. So what we have to do oftentimes is pull it in until it snaps over. Like, there we go, like that. Um, and then we get our power back, and then we can even out our turn. And now we're on our way again. So, uh, yeah. So that's the basics of, um, that's the basics of sailing. Um, and one more thing I'll, I'll show you is if you do get, end up getting stuck in irons, how to get out of it. Um, cause that can be pretty important. It, uh, there's no like great way to do it. Oftentimes it'll take a while, no matter what you kind of do. But um, but you can get out of it. Rock, would you mind pulling in the jib? Oh yes. Thank you. Which side? Uh, starboard. Right. This one I'm especially good at. Um. Not getting out of it, but getting into it specifically. And uh, I have a lot of experience getting completely stuck and then sinking. Yes, so so here I'm going to put us in irons. So this is irons. So if I'm stuck in irons for too long, I will lose pretty much all power. Um, okay, we're actually... Well, actually not, that's actually not irons. If you keep your momentum, it's not that hard to, to get out of irons. But, but yeah, so... So we're in irons right now. As you can see, we have very little power. The sail is flapping back and forth. That's bad, obviously, and we don't want that. And so what we do to get out of it is, you notice we have so we have very little power right now. Um, so basically, what we're going to want to do is just basically throw the wheel over to to one side, pull all of your sails in, and hard rudder over to one side, and eventually, um, it'll come around and you'll get wind again. So you can see the sail is starting to get, starting to flap a little bit less. We still don't have that much power and we're not really moving. But the bow is starting to come around here. And we should get out of irons in a sec here. And there we go. And we're sailing again. So if you get if you do get stuck in irons, that's how you can get out of it. Just make sure you have all your sails in and um, you rudder all the way over to one side. Um, yeah, uh, that's about it. If you have any, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or DM us. We'll probably respond and try to be helpful. So yeah. And we do understand if you do, it's a very difficult sailboat to sell, but to sell to sail. But we tried to make it as realistically as possible. So we hope that it satisfies in that regard. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. All right. Have have fun. Have, yes. Yeah. Thank you for watching this very, very planned out and epic tutorial. Catch you later.